What's up everyone, this is the Apple reseller here. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video on this iPod Classic 5th generation that I recently got. I'm going to be showing you guys the iPod and do a review on it. To be specific, this is the iPod Classic 5.5, which is just an updated version of the iPod Classic 5th generation. So basically, Apple introduced the iPod Classic 5th generation in 2005 with a 30GB and a 60GB model. And in 2006, they introduced the iPod Classic 5.5, which still has the 30GB model, but then they updated the 60GB model to an 80GB model. And it just has minor improvement over the original 5th generation, such as it has a brighter screen, better battery life, and it has like a search function. So as you can see here, you could type in letters and search for music that way. And it also has a scroll function. The center button on this is a little busted, so that's why I'm pushing it hard. So basically you can scroll fast and then you can get to the alphabet, so easier to find your songs that way. And the easiest way to tell which one you have is if you have an 80 gigabyte model like this one then you have a 5.5 if you have a 60 gigabyte then it's just the regular fifth generation if you have this 30 gigabyte model then you will have to go to music and then see if you have the search function if you do it's a 5.5 and if you don't it's just a regular fifth generation this is the last ipod to have a classic design and what i mean by that is this iPod is the last one to still have a plastic front and still offers a white front. All the newer iPod Nanos have all these different colors and a lot of them are made out of metal and later on they have the touchscreen. So those are obviously like a different area of iPod and the iPod Nanos, I mean the iPod Classic 7s, the 6th generation one, last thing has the aluminum front and Apple has like added a lot of split view and stuff so I feel those iPod are like just not the same era as the original iPod as in you get like a, a plastic white front although they did have a black one on this one as well and just like a simple menu so I really like this iPod for that reason it's like the very last classic iPod before Apple started making iPods out of different material and adding different color and I was throwing the iPod Nano first generation as well because this iPod also has the same design. Now let's talk about what you can still do with this iPod. Let's start off with the best thing about this iPod which is music. And of course this device was designed for music but the best thing about this device is that it has a really good DAC. It's the best DAC of any iPod, iPad or iPhone so if you care about sound quality and you want to listen to music then you should get the iPod Classic 5th generation if you get like the 6th generation iPod Classic the sound quality is not as good and some other iPod that have good sound quality is like the iPod Nano 1st generation the iPod Touch 1st generation or pretty much all the older iPod have really good DACs but the iPod Classic 5th generation has the best DAC of all of them you can also use this device for photo and video, but I would not recommend that you do that because the screen on this iPod is pretty small and you're better off viewing photo and video with your smartphone or like your tablet. And there's also some extra features on this iPod. So you got clocks. So if you want to set like different time zone, you can do that. You got some games, but the games on this iPod are pretty basic, but it's still there. And you can add contacts to this iPod, but you need to do it through iTunes. And you also get a calendar, so if you want to view a calendar, you can do that. But if you want to add any like to-do stuff, you need to do that through iTunes. You also get notes, but you have to do that through iTunes as well. And you get a stopwatch, and you get screen lock, which is basically a passcode for your iPod and that's pretty much all you can do with this iPod on the iPod itself you could also use this as a 
hard drive, like an external hard drive, but you shouldn't really be doing that with an iPod unless you really have to and it's the only thing you got. So overall, I really like this iPod mainly because of its classic design and also it has a really good DAX. So that's why I like this iPod. In fact, I think it's better than some of the newer iPod with like newer designs. I just kind of like the classic design in general. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do enjoy my content, then go ahead and subscribe to me. I will really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.